guys and welcome back to another video. It's just a quick one today. I say at the start of every video and then it ends up being a bloody 10 minute, 20 minute long video. Hopefully this has the intention to be a short video. I want to talk about berets and I basically found some clips on my camera of me shaping my beret back in February. So I thought it'd be interesting to show you the ordeal that I went through back when I was a very new recruit and I didn't really know what I was doing. I feel like I'm a bit more confident in it now. How I shaped my beret and if you have to do it, the best ways to do it and how mine ended up looking. Just thought it'd be quite a fun video to give you an insight into the army. So for context, if you don't know, I joined the army reserves in the end of 2020. So it's been like six, seven, maybe eight months now by the time this comes out. So I shared the video about getting my kit and like wearing it and stuff on YouTube. That came out, I think a month or two ago. So I guess this is just the follow on. And just before I get into it, I also wanna say, didn't really get much guidance on how to do the beret because I did my beret before we had the lesson on how to do your beret, basically. So, because I didn't know we were gonna get the lesson on how you do your beret. So I used a video, I'll put it like here on screen, essentially dunk it in hot water, dunk it in cold water, put it on, shape it, Bob's your uncle. That's pretty much the process. But roll the clips of how I did mine. And I've put my pyjama top on and I'm gonna do this with wet hair because from the videos that I've seen of people doing this, you just get drenched because obviously it's wool, it retains a lot of water. The label says, dip it in warm water, then put it into cold water. You can choose to wring it out or not, the mixed opinions on the YouTube videos that I've seen. Put it on, shape it, and then you lie it flat and that's literally it. The shaping, it's gonna be the hard part. <laughs> it's me overthinking this to a high heaven. I'm trying to think if it goes on like this, Cat Badger's hair, so it'll push to the right. Yeah, okay. And you just can't get the leather band wet either, apparently, because it can shrink. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this up and crack on. I think you can kind of see if I do it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in. Let me re -dip. As you can see, once it's wet and it's placed on the head, I was just trying to push it over to the right hand side to then get some shape in there. Do you know what? I think this is the best we're gonna get it. Um, it looks weird, but I don't know whether it looks weird because it looks weird or whether it looks weird because it's on me and it's weird looking at yourself with this on. But I think this is the closest we're gonna get it. So I'm gonna lay it dry, see what it looks like with the cat badge and then compare it to pictures on Google and hope for the best. Okay, time to get on with the day. I actually can't believe that took me 25 minutes. I expected that for long to just take me like two minutes. But, <laughs> here we are. I feel like there's gonna be bits of fluff now in my hair when I blow dry it. Spice to the day. So once you've shaped it and you're happy with it, then you need to dry the beret. The best way to do it is to put a bowl down and put the beret over the top so it still dries with the shape of the head. It will take about a day or so to dry, so bear that in mind for when you do shape it. And then once it's dry, you need to attach the cap badge. So here you can see my cap badge for the rifles and where the cap badge will fit to the beret. So for these type of berets, you need to cut the wool in order to slide the cap badge in. How high up you cut the wool will determine how high up your cap badge will sit. It. and then once you've made your cut you just slide the cat badge in as I said and then you will be done with your beret and this is how it will look okay so I thought I'd jump on now like five six months after those clips were filmed and show you kind of what the beret looks like then it's dried styled and I've kind of been wearing it around like camp and stuff the last six months so this is what we're dealing with uh, just some general tips as well for when you're wearing it or styling it you should always wear it further down at the front than it is at the back. There are like ties around the leather band at the back that you can tighten the uh, the strap up with so it doesn't slip off. The placement as well, I mean, it does differ. I think to the most part it is personal preference. I like mine like a finger width above the eyebrow. Some people love pushing it super down like that and having it like super like liddy over the top. Other people's have theirs here and then there's a massive bit that goes down like there. You know, same with the cat badge. Obviously the cat badge goes over your left eye. I have mine sort of slightly off towards the side of the left eye. Some people have theirs like bang straight. Other people have theirs super to the side. Like it, it really does depend. You'll see a wide range of berries when you join the army. And yeah, that's pretty much how it looks now and goes on. I mean, also putting, putting it on and off. Obviously you have to take it on and off quite a bit normally when you're knocking around camp, depending on protocol and things like that. But I normally just sort of like cup it 
place it on and push it down so in like a one motion you get the knack of it i feel like when i first started putting my berry on i'd do it so carefully and then i'd be so self-conscious like i needed to see it in the mirror just to make sure it's right and then you get to the point where you just like bang it on and hope for the best uh but yeah that's pretty much what it looks like <laughs> so yeah that's how i shape my berry it's funny for me to watch the clips back now because at the time i was so new to the army world i was like i don't know what i'm doing so it's been a learning curve but i think that's like you say that about anything that you join that's new so i hope you've enjoyed the video of how i did my beret i hope this video helps you if you have to shape your beret and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video i'll see you guys next time bye